It's a question often asked of most kids. What do you want to be when you grow up? While some of us are still figuring that out, one Carmel native continues to live out her childhood dream on stage. Sarah Litzinger's love of theater began right here in central Indiana, and 40 years ago, millions met the then 12-year-old when she made her national television debut. Introducing Sarah Litzinger. Harry Como's Christmas in New York. Oh my gosh, the math is not mathing. I can't believe it was that long ago. <laughs> I didn't know who Perry Como was when I auditioned, and my mom said to me, um, oh my goodness, if you got this part, your grandmother would swoon. <laughs> and so I told them that at the audition. Chatting with a cheetah. What a neat achievement that would be. We shot at FAO Schwartz, and wow, I mean, that was, you know, that's iconic, that store. And um, Perry Como was such a kind, uh, just wonderful uh, person to be around. And he said, call me Uncle Perry. And then when we were done with the shoot and the special came out, he sent me a big bar of chocolate that said Merry Christmas love on Uncle Perry and we had that in our refrigerator for years. In just a couple of hours the lights will flood the stage, the curtain will go up and the orchestra will ring out the familiar songs in the Broadway musical Annie. I got started uh, when my parents took me to see Annie at Clues Hall. I was so mesmerized that I didn't leave my seat during intermission and then my parents gave me the album of uh, the cast recording of Annie for Christmas. And um, I listened to it nonstop and my parents knew that I sort of had the bug to be on stage. Indianapolis got one of its first looks at young Sarah Litzinger last year when she starred in the title role of Oliver at Beef and Boards. It's such a rush to be on stage. So I'm super grateful to still be in the game and being a part of uh, theater. I love it so much. I'm the longest running Belle in Disney's Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. Um, and my husband is the original Gaston, but we never did the show together. <laughs> Show business can be really up and down, and you just never know the when and the where of it. We can have periods of great highs and super lows, and we hear no a lot, um, but all those no's are worth it when you hear that one yes. It's showtime. I had auditioned for Beetlejuice over a year ago, and then I got the call um, sort of out of the blue. So. It took me by surprise, um, but I'm, I'm super grateful. I feel so lucky to have had the career um, that I've had so far. So I, I feel like I've reached my goals and I'm really fortunate to be in a company in this, um, in this new show um, of really just wonderfully talented people. So I count my blessings every day and I, I feel really, really, really lucky. It's my life. I, I, I just want to do this, you know, f forever. It's still my life. It's still my life. While there are currently no dates for Beetlejuice, the musical in central Indiana, there are performances scheduled in Cincinnati, Louisville, and Chicago if you want to catch Litzinger live in action.